Welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABN Graphics. Yes, on this particular tutorial, we are going to learn how to design a rectangular banner. Yes, so looking at uh, these days, stores has a different shapes that uh, a client or a customer may want you to design a banner or anything that can fit into that particular rectangular or any kind of shape how do you do that in photoshop so let's just go to our photoshop and let's get it done so first of all i just open my photoshop just like that so first you need to measure the height of that particular rectangular distance and the what the width okay and is if it also has some edges you have to do that so working on this particular distance the width is 18 is uh 18 feet that's 216 and then the height is 59 inches you get that so how do you start by this so first of all create a new file by clicking on this new file this thing yes when you have something like this and then you have it just like that you get that so first thing Come and change the millimeters to what to inches you get that so the width is 216 that i measure and then the height is what is 59 then you have it just like that and then because the size is too big and for me because i don't want it to to, to stress because my machine is not that good i just want to make it 72 to be okay you get that but you can decide to make a hundred 150 200 if you want to have a quality printout you get that but 300 it will worry you before you get it done but if your machine is having a high graphics it's smooth don't worry you can make it 300 okay yes then if we have this and we have that so changing the name to what to rectangular okay rectangular sorry rectangular what rectangular banner okay then you click what you click create so that is what we have you get that so it means that the width is very long but the height is not that it's just small you get that so with this how do you design it to perfectly meet the customer needs you get that so let's just see something over here so there is the size it's okay so this we have created is there is the name that one too is okay so first thing what you need to do over here is that uh i'm just going to pick my rectangular uh, tool over here then i'll draw something like this over here okay i'm just going to draw something like this over here and then on that i'm just going to change the color to what to color like this it's okay for just thinking of doing so i'll have something like this then i'll hold my shift to just drag it to meet the edges to be to meet the edges okay then we have something like this you get that so the top there i'll try and drag it to to that and the next thing again i'm going to do because i want everything to be done nicely i'll come to view then i'll come to guide then i'll click on new guide you get that so new guide vertically i'm just going to make it 50 percent so that i'll have a sected work whilst doing you get that so this is what it has sected just like that you get that so the next thing again you have to do over here is that pick up this pick up this particular distance you get that so first you can decide to use a pen tool to do it very easy pen tool is over here so there is a use of pen tool no so you can have something like this over there then you can pick up from here that's a sector so i'm just going to click on the sector just like that then the edges over here just like that then the down here just like that and over here just like that so it's done just like that you get you get that then i'm just going to remove some remove the down the, the, the down ship then i can have something like this over there you get that yes so so having this just like that what you need to do is that you just you just have to start to what start designing what you want to design so first let me come on first i'm just going to give it a a gradient so i'm just going to create my fs then i'll come to gradient overlay so that we are just designing just like that so as you understand how this plotting is done then you don't need to worry you just have to start what you just have to start designing uh anything that you wish you get that so let me have something like this over there and i'll click okay and i'll click okay you get that so i'll group it just like that 
I just want to group this one. You get that. So I'll go over to my file, go to place a link, then I'll just import in a, a shape I downloaded. You get that. So I'll hold my shift to what? To drag it, to drag it to close everything just like that. Then I'll click OK. Nice. And then I'll right click and resize the layer. Then I'll right click again and create a clipping mask in just like this. Okay. Then I'll try and change the distance. The, the what is the name? I'll try and change the blinding mode to somewhere either lighting or any color that I wish to use. Okay. So let's check in through. Just let me just use so let me just use lighting. It's okay. Then I'll reduce the sh the distance a bit so I can have something like this. You get that? Yes. So the next thing again I'm going to do over here is that I'm just going to pick the right up does the uh, Adonia case fashion then I'll just paste it over here just like that and then I'll come over and pick the fashion over there I'll just copy it that one too then I come and do what I come and paste that one too over here too then I can have it just like that so let's work around it so this I'm just going to reduce the size down 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 you get that somewhere through hand it's okay and this one too i will reduce it to to have something like this you get that now over here if you place something over here you the those who are passing may not see it so make sure it's just around here you get that make sure it's around here it shouldn't go over there too because maybe some may not see it you get that so I'll have it just like that. The same thing that I did, I'll have here zero. The down left side should be zero and the right side should be zero. I just want to have a simple design on this. You get that. So we can have something like this. And then on this, I'm just going to change the color. Sorry. I'm just going to change the color to different color. I just want to have some kind of simple design on that. You get that. So we can have this. Then I'll move this one on top. It should be over here. Then I'm just going to have something like this. So on this, I'm just going to change the font to, uh, okay, micro mouse. Okay, micro mouse, it's okay for me there. Then I'll have something like this over there. Then I'll decide to increase the distance to somewhere. Let me see 400, 400 is somewhat small, 500. Okay, 500 is okay for me. Then I'll use something like this. And then on this, I'll just move that one to somewhere here. It looks so cool. Then I'll just try and drag it a little bit so that it will fill up that particular gap. Then I'll have something like this over there. You get that? Yes. And then the next thing again I'm going to do over here is that I'm just going to pick up the right up and the, this thing over there. Just like that. I'm just going to copy it over there. Then I'm just going to do what? I'm just going to paste it just like this then i'll have something like this over there then i'll let that one be somewhere here then i'll change the color to what to white you get that you see sometimes you have to think of adding the colors i have a yellow background and then the right that should be what should be black because if i don't if i make it white even though it will come to a time that it the 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 yellow background will fit and the white will not be see again that's why i make it what i make it uh black okay so we can have something like this over there the next thing again i'm going to do over here is to import in the images that i've already grouped so i'm just going to import in these images over here yes let me wait for you to get in all right so all right okay the document is somehow this thing so cool so i'll have it somewhere here looks so cool and then the next thing again i'm going to do is to come and pick up a shape tool over here then i'll just draw some shape over here just like that you get that yes and then i'll let it come down here then i'll have it somewhere this you get that then we have something like this then i can move it to the top a little bit all right somewhere like this this looks so cool you get that yes and on this you are done with the rectangular banner design in photoshop this is abn graphics have a nice day bye bye